video about knowing that you are, at least in part, full of shit. Okay, so sit down for a moment, I have some shocking news for you. Not everything I say is absolutely true. Holy fuck, Eddie, why would you do this to us? I know, right, what a bastard. Remember this? <coughs> ghost is good? One of the things about being a Z-list internet celebrity, actually that's not quite a good enough description, perhaps there's a negative alphabet that I could use to signify my especially minor importance. <clears throat> As a minus Z-list internet loser, one of the best things to happen to you is when someone from the internet disagrees with you. Drifter and Frida have talked about these people, but I want to weigh in as well. The internet white knights. Now thankfully I don't have a lot of these people, maybe that's because every time they do happen to ride up on their indignation steeds I destroy them utterly and leave their rotting metaphorical corpses in my comment sections to discourage others. I may be a bleeding heart liberal, but my channel is not a democracy. Think of my tolerance of dissent not too dissimilar to Iran's take on the subject. Intimidation, torture, and if needed, casual disappearance of the perpetrators. So yeah, I run a theocracy. I even have a special rule book full of fairy tales that I take literally and mistakenly try to apply to reality. Anyway, what these internet police fail to understand is my own sense of irreverence towards my own opinion. An intellectual's thinking is fluid, adaptable, and thirsty for new information. An idiot's mind is static, unflinching, and in some sad cases, fanatical. When I say stuff for your amusement, it's often in wildly inaccurate generalizations because they're funnier. How boring would it be if I just spoke in dry factual statements about the things I have an appropriate knowledge of? It really sucks to be bald and not get laid. That's about the limit of the fascinating list containing the things I'm truly informed about. What's that, two videos? At a stretch? I know I've made Ghost Being Bad last nearly a year, but I'm not a fucking miracle worker for fuck's sake. The point is, to be entertaining, you have to just plain make shit up as you go along sometimes. Now that's good for laughs, but less reliable when it comes to facts. Think of it like a shotgun filled with ideas. Some of those will ring true when they collide with the soft tissue of your thinking boxes, others won't, and for God's sake, that's fucking okay. The thing that annoys me the most about the internet thought police is that they hold people to impossible standards. Standards that in their daily lives, I'd bet my fucking remaining hair that they don't live up to. When you voice this to them, they usually come up with something asinine like, yeah, but you're a role model, shut the fuck up. I play COD and make virgin jokes, I should be nobody's role model. In short, internet white knights are the world's least effective and most annoying volunteer service. Stop trying to impose order on the infinite, it's not even possible. Play effects!